let it cool down and then try it again later. Picture yeah. of this device. This is good. <laughs> you can move the stock and the battery. Mm. The battery's home there. So you don't do that, take the stock off, mm. and then change the battery. It's another button. Well, if you aim at the sky, yeah. the sky, it might potentially take out a drone. Oh, perfect. Yeah. The question that Flytrap is answering is one, what equipment works? The second question is besides what equipment works, how do we employ that equipment? And the third is do we need to change our militaries in the way we operate to incorporate drone usage as well as countering those drones? And, and the question is, is in order to get ready for the next war, do we have to change what we do right now currently? And that's what Flytrap is about. Right now we're testing a bunch of counter UAS systems. A lot of these are sensing, which is basically, is there a drone in the area? And the other is jamming, is there a way for us to stop the drone or at least to get the eyes off of us? So those are the two types of ways with Flytrap. Can we sense the drone and then can we jam it? And then can we get to a certain area or take out those drones in the sky? 
So there's really two types of ways they're using drones. There's ISR, which is defined as intelligence surveillance reconnaissance, which is, you know, bluff, eyes in the sky. It's being able to see what's out there and to find you in a way. The other way is these hunter-killer teams. So what's happening is you have a drone go up in the sky, they're going to find you, and that's going to cue other drones to come and basically blow up the target.